Good morning, garden friends. <laughs> it's gonna be another hot day. Um, but I gotta truck through this because I'm so off schedule with all the rain that we had and then just the unbearable heat um, I need to be working on in the center garden area in my backyard. Uh, partly because when I turn the um, camera around, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But I'm going to be trimming my perennials so that they can get another flush to last through the summer and the fall. I'm gonna also get those guys fed. Um, like I said, I'm behind the eight ball, but this is about getting stuff knocked out. So let me turn that camera around so I can show you guys what I'm going to be working on. All right, so this center bed, I'm gonna get my um, banana creams, deadheaded, my wallflowers. I need to really get that trim back so that uh, new growth can come on there. That's, it's not dead. It's just needing rejuvenized. What is this? Denim and lace trim back. I'm gonna go ahead and get my white wand at least cut down to here because you can see there's new growth coming on there. And the flowers end up being, even though they're thin, so heavy that it's tipping over. Yeah, there's a couple of things in here just to get it a little bit more organized. I'm going to go ahead and do a cleanup of Helen Vonstein. You know, that's just getting any of the yellow in flowers just to open that up. And then I, I, I don't like it to hang over the edge of the bricks. So I'm gonna get that taken. Oh, look at here, guys. I don't know if you can see them. But he's over there. The little gecko. I have so many of these in my yard. And is it funny? Look at the little guy. This is just a little baby. <laughs> he went and hid. But yeah, so. That's what I'm going to be focusing on today. I'm probably going to start over on this side because the sun's not over here. So let me go ahead and get everything I need so we can go ahead and get this knocked out. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to start over on this section of the bed, getting buttercream twos, deadheaded, getting pestamen, uh, pinstamen uh, trimmed back, I also have some tick seeds um, and then also my denim and lace. Just getting everything shaped up, fed, and then later on I'll end up watering everything. So let's get to work. And as I told you guys, I s hold on to these because this is a pretty tight area. I can't bring my, my big bag in here. And then the one thing that I like to do, especially when I'm, I'm pruning back, back um, perennials, you know, the stuff that's dead, I try to get all the way down to the ground, unless it has uh, new shoots off of it. Cause I don't like leaving anything that will be dying back to possibly encourage disease or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, normally cut it back. If I see a bud coming up, I'm not cutting that. I'm just making sure I get as close as I possibly can to get uh, the spent flower cut off. So most of the energy will be going to a new flower.
and then I also use this time to get any of you know weeds that might pop up now this here is wildflowers now while it may look like it is dead I'm gonna cut this guy all the way back and then feed it water it and then I'll get be able to get another shoot uh, a flush of flowers Now, while I may be trimming a little bit of the green off, that's just because I want a nice uniform look. just love my bad foot buttons. I understand why. So by doing this, what it allows is, you know, sometimes plants get congested and then by getting in there, uh, cleaning out the spent flowers, any dead leaves or branches, you're going to get more air circulation. So you do not have to worry about powdering mildew. mildew. So that's the other reason why I do this. <laughs> guys I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished trimmed up and cleaned out and I will show you once I'm all done all right so I've gotten everything cut back nicely shaped and I just so love how it looks <laughs> while I have a lot of things in here I, I think there's some nice separation and then if you look at how I did the Helen Von Steen like I said I don't like it touching the pavers and I just think it just looks so much nicer and then you can see the definition in the plants that are here so let me go ahead and get these guys fed and a water later on after the sun goes down because it's getting ready to come over here and boy i just love it for what are those banana cream to daisies when they get all the dead stuff off of it so this is looking really really nice 
All right, one of the things that I did, and I sat there and totally forgot when I uh, thinned out the Helen Von Steens that I wanted to go ahead and reroute some. But this is the thing, they look bad, but as you can see, I got new stuff growing on there. Uh, like I said, this rain is doing a number, and then it didn't help that I uh, didn't get these guys picked up. But um, the thing of it is, it, it, it was raining. As pretty as it was, the rain started uh, to come down. All right, so the garden is done, able to deadhead trim a lot of the stuff back and like i said uh, by doing that it allows a new flush to come through for you but it also assists in making sure that your plants are not you know getting diseased and what have you because like i said we've been having a lot of rain you know and that's like the one thing that you know can end up uh causing disease on your plants due to the raining and then the high humidity that we have here well guys thank you again for visiting inspiring garden corner and i look forward to you checking out my next video